vast cosmos above, do you believe there might be children born of the stars? A question as old as mankind itself, this has been a source of intrigue and bewilderment for countless generations. These extraordinary beings, often referred to as the star children, present a mystery that continually beguiles humanity. Observers and thinkers throughout history have grappled with the idea of these star children, a concept that teeters precariously on the boundary between established science and speculative fiction. They're rumored to be the progeny of the celestial entities, born not from the womb of this earth, but from the luminous galaxies that lie beyond our visible sky. This fascinating belief is not merely the product of a fertile storyteller's imagination, but rather it is an idea deeply embedded in the myths and legends of a myriad of cultures. This concept has seeped into the collective consciousness of societies across the globe, echoing through the eons and across the vast expanses of continents. In the upcoming scenes, we will take a deep dive into the mystery surrounding these star children. We'll embark on a journey to the mystery, peeling back the layers of myth and conjecture to reveal the truth. Central to our quest is the exploration of the perplexing star child skull. This ancient artifact has bewildered researchers, igniting fierce debates among the scientific community. Is it an extraterrestrial relic or a misunderstood fragment of our own terrestrial past? The mystery deepens as we move from the concrete to the abstract. Next, we transition from the physical to the metaphysical, delving into the intricate weave of the Native American star people legends. These narratives, carefully preserved and passed down through generations, recount tales of celestial entities visiting our planet and fathering progeny with humans. But the mystery doesn't halt here. There are numerous claims of children in the present day manifesting exceptional abilities, such telepathy that challenge conventional wisdom. Are these children the descendants of the star people or are they simply the next evolutionary leap in human development? Venturing into the realm of genetic science, we will attempt to uncover evidence that could either substantiate these extraordinary claims or discredit them as mere flights of fantasy. Will genetic science lend credence to the existence of the star children, or will it shatter these intriguing beliefs and relegate them to the realm of folklore and mythology? The star children a beguiling cosmic puzzle, a celestial riddle that weaves together strands of the known and the unknown the terrestrial and the celestial, the past and the future. This exploration promises to be a journey no other, where we traverse the boundaries of reality and step into the realm of the unknown. As we seek to unravel the mystery of the star children, we are not just investigating a myth. We are delving into the very essence of human curiosity and our place in the cosmos. The subject of the star children is a topic laden with awe, wonder, and the potential for unimaginable discoveries. It is an engaging narrative that combines history, culture, science and speculation into a captivating exploration of humanity's quest for understanding. In tackling this cosmic mystery, we are not merely exploring the stories and myths associated with the star children, we are also into the fundamental questions of our existence, our origins and our future. Prepare to journey into the unknown as we dive into the mystifying world of star children, have you heard of the Star Child Skull? A relic that's been stirring up controversy and curiosity for decades. This artifact, with its unusual and distinct features, has been a subject of intrigue since its unexpected discovery in the mid-20th century. This mystifying relic was found in the rugged, isolated landscapes of Mexico's Copper Canyon, a region known for its expansive wilderness and untamed beauty. On an ordinary day, a young girl exploring the terrain happened upon a site that would ignite a wave of curiosity that would span decades. Among the rocks and shrubs, she found the skeletal remains of a humanoid skull, but this was unlike any other she had seen in her lifetime. Its attributes were peculiar, diverging from the characteristics that we associate with typical human skulls. This skull was notably smaller, the bone was significantly harder, and it possessed a face shape that was distinctly unusual. As she examined it, she was drawn to certain peculiarities. The eye sockets were remarkably shallow. Back of the skull appeared oddly flattened, and it had an unusually high cranial capacity. These peculiarities were so distinct, so rare, that they sparked an array of wild theories and hypotheses. 
Was this the skull of a star child, supposedly a being not of this world, but from the far reaches of the cosmos? The whispers and rumors of extraterrestrial origins began to circulate, thrilling both scientists and skeptics alike. They sought to unravel the mystery of the star child skull, a mystery that had now captivated the world. A series of tests were swiftly conducted from DNA analysis to advanced imaging techniques in the hopes of understanding the skull's origins, yet the results only added more layers to the mystery. The material that made up the bone was found to be unlike any human or known animal bone. The DNA tests yielded inconclusive results, only deepening the intrigue. Furthermore, the skull was estimated to be over 900 years old, further fueling speculations of its alien origins. The star child skull quickly became a beacon for theories of extraterrestrial life and star children. Some proposed that the skull belonged to a star child, a hybrid being born of a human and an extraterrestrial entity. According to law, these star children were believed to possess abilities beyond human comprehension, like telepathy and telekinesis. Could the star child skull be tangible evidence of such beings? While the idea is intriguing, skeptics have put forth their own theories. Some argue that the skull could be a result of cranial deformation, a practice common among certain ancient cultures. They suggest that the skull's unique features could the result of genetic disorders or simply natural variation within the human species. However, none of these explanations fully account for the skull's peculiarities. The star child skull remains a mystery wrapped in a cosmic conundrum. It stands at the intersection of science and speculation between the known and the unknown, challenging our understanding of life as we know it. It provokes us to question the boundaries of our knowledge and the possibilities of life beyond our planet. Could this skull be the proof of star children's existence or is it just a unique anomaly? The debate continues. Whether a remnant of a star child or a product of earthly phenomena, the star child skull is a powerful symbol of our yearning for answers our fascination with the unknown, and our eternal quest for understanding in the vast expanse of the cosmos. Native American legends speak of star people, beings from the stars who walked among us. These tales, passed down through generations, weave a rich tapestry of encounters between earthbound tribes and celestial visitors. This intricate intermingling of cultures and species, if believed to be true, has left an indelible mark on the history of mankind. These narratives, colored with the hues of time and imagination, offer us a glimpse into the worldview of indigenous communities. They relate their unique understanding of the cosmos, their place in it, and the relationships they formed with these purported extraterrestrial entities. It's essential to understand that these sagas don't just exist within a single tribe's folklore. They are an integral part of many indigenous cultures, from the Hopi to the, the Iroquois to the Cree, the concept of star people is an enduring theme that spans across these natives, presenting a unified cosmic belief system. This omnipresence lends a certain gravity to these narratives, calling us to dive deeper into their intricacies. These otherworldly beings, often depicted as arriving in flaming ships, are claimed to have shared wisdom and advanced technologies with our primordial ancestors. They were seen as mentors, guides, not invaders. Their intent was to enlighten, not dominate, their appearance, according to the legends, varied greatly. Some star people were described as humanoid, familiar in form, while others said to possess features far removed from our own, alien and inexplicable. Their arrival was often heralded by strange lights in the sky or unexplained phenomena, elements that challenge our understanding of reality. The star people, as per these legends, were not merely transient visitors. They were also sowers of cosmic seeds. There are tales of these star people intermingling with humans, resulting in offspring that carried the celestial DNA. These progeny, often distinguished by unique physical traits or exceptional abilities, came to be known as star children. One such tale comes from the Choctaw tribe, who narrate the story of a star woman who descended to Earth and gave birth to the first of the star children. This child, raised among humans, developed into a great leader, possessing wisdom far beyond his years and the uncanny ability to predict future events. Another tale from the Lakota tribe spins a romantic yarn. Tells of a star man who fell in love with a tribal woman. Their child, a star child, 
was said to possess the remarkable ability to heal and communicate without words, a trait often associated with telepathic abilities. These narratives, while mesmerizing, do leave us with lingering questions. Is there a kernel of truth buried within these myths, or are they merely the products of a fertile imaginative mind? Could these star children be the result of genetic mutations or anomalies, or are they truly the descendants of celestial beings? It's crucial to acknowledge that while these stories are steeped in mysticism and the supernatural, they also embody profound wisdom and morality. They teach us about unity, respect for the cosmos, and the potential for humanity to learn from beings beyond our realm. These narratives shape a universe where the lines between the terrestrial and the extraterrestrial blur. They paint a picture of a world that is as mystifying as it is enlightening. The stories of the star people and the star children serve as a testament to the boundless creativity of the human mind and our everlasting quest to understand the cosmos. So, as we sail through these celestial tales, we return to our original question. Are these myths pure folklore, or do they hold a grain of truth about the star children? The answer, much like the star children themselves, remains shrouded in a veil of cosmic mystery. It's a celestial puzzle that beckons us, a riddle woven in the fabric of time waiting to be unraveled. Imagine children possessing abilities beyond the ordinary, like telepathy. Sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? Indeed, it is a topic that is frequently explored in the realm of fantasy and science fiction. It stirs our imagination and our curiosity about the limits of human potential. But what if I told you that this is not merely the stuff of fiction? What if there were children among us today who were capable of feats that surpass our conventional understanding of human abilities? I'm talking about children who can see beyond the physical world, who can communicate thoughts and feelings without uttering a single word. Children who can predict events before they occur, not just in vague terms, but with startling accuracy. It's a fascinating concept, isn't it? Perhaps even a little unsettling. But nevertheless, it's a concept that has captured the attention and interest of many. Let's dive further into some accounts of these extraordinary children. The world is full of stories, anecdotes and testimonies that tell of children who have displayed abilities that defy conventional understanding. From the bustling metropolises of the East to the quiet rural towns of the West, these stories have been passed down, shared and discussed, leaving many intrigued and many more puzzled. Take, for instance, a child in a small village in China who can accurately predict the outcome of a dice roll every single time. This child, no more than six years old, has baffled local villagers and experts alike with her uncanny ability. And then there's a child in Germany who, without any prior training or exposure to music, can play a complex piece of music on the piano flawlessly. Even more intriguing are the accounts of children who claim to have the ability to see and communicate with beings from other dimensions. It's that sounds straight out of a science fiction novel, but the children who report such experiences are so sincere and so consistent in their accounts, it's hard to dismiss them outright. Telepathy or mind-to-mind -mind communication is another uncanny ability some of these children allegedly possess. Imagine being able to transmit your thoughts to another person without the need for speech or writing. Sounds impossible, doesn't it? Yet there have been instances where children have accurately described objects hidden from their view simply by reading the thoughts of the person who knows what the object is. Then there's clairvoyance or clear seeing which refers to the ability to gain information about an object, person, location, or physical event through means beyond the five basic senses. Children with this ability can perceive things or events that are happening far away, hidden, or even in the future. Again, it's a concept that sounds straight out of a sci-fi movie, but it has been reported in numerous cases around the world. Precognition, or the ability to see future events before they occur, is yet another startling ability reported in some of these children. There are accounts of children predicting natural disasters, impending accidents and other unforeseen events with a level of accuracy that is hard to ignore. While skeptics might dismiss these as mere coincidences, the accuracy and specificity of these predictions can sometimes be eerily accurate. So what does all this have to do with the star children? 
The star children, as some propose, are not just children with random, unexplained abilities. These children with their unearthly abilities could be descendants of the star people or they could be the star children reincarnated in human form. They are believed to have been sent to Earth to guide us towards a more enlightened state of being. And their extraordinary abilities are a testimony to their celestial origins. On the other hand, there are those who argue that these children are simply extraordinary humans, products of natural genetic variations or mutations. They believe that these abilities, while remarkable, can be explained through science and do not necessarily indicate an extraterrestrial origin. Could these gifted children be the star children we've been talking about, or are they simply extraordinary humans? It's a question that continues to baffle us, adding another layer of mystery to the enigma of the star children. The truth, as they say, is out there. Science often seeks to explain the inexplicable. Let's see what it has to say about star children. The realm of genetic science, a vast and ever advancing field of study, been instrumental and pioneering in its attempts to explain the bewildering and intriguing star child phenomenon. A myriad of dedicated researchers brimming with curiosity have meticulously investigated the complex genetic makeup of the legendary star children, carefully examining the intricate web of DNA and genetic information that defines these intriguing beings. They've been tirelessly looking for any anomalies, any peculiarities, any small but significant variations that could potentially shed light on their unique attributes, those inexplicable facets of their existence that set them apart from the rest of humanity. Some detailed studies have pointed out the presence of peculiar differences, anomalies that aren't present in typical human DNA structure. These differences give rise to a fascinating hypothesis, suggesting a potential link to a lineage of extraterrestrial origin, a lineage that is as mysterious as it is tantalizingly enticing. This includes sequences are unique, not found in typical human genetics. Certain cases even suggest a higher percentage of junk DNA a term referring to those parts of the genome that don't code for proteins, a part of our genetic makeup whose purpose still eludes us. However, as with all revolutionary ideas, these theories are not accepted without a healthy dose of skepticism. Critics and skeptics alike argue that these variations could simply be due to the natural genetic diversity that is inherent among humans. They argue that these differences don't necessarily denote an extraterrestrial origin. They emphasize that genetic mutations are a common occurrence and that they can result in a wide range of unusual, yet perfectly natural, physical and cognitive traits. They maintain that the genetic diversity of humans is still not completely understood and that what is being perceived as alien might just be unexplored aspects of our own genetic diversity. There's also been widespread debate about the methods used in these studies, about the scientific rigor and validity of the research methods. Some scientists have raised concerns about the risk of contamination, severely questioning the validity of the results. This concern is further augmented by the criticisms regarding the lack of peer-reviewed publications supporting these claims, a crucial factor in establishing and ensuring scientific credibility. But perhaps one of the most contentious and heated points is the interpretation of the data. Even if there are distinct genetic differences, what do they actually signify? What does this mean in the broader context of our understanding of genetics? Are these differences evidence of an extraterrestrial descent or do they simply represent unexplored areas of human genetic diversity? This question, this dilemma, remains a hotbed of controversy, with a multitude of experts offering conflicting interpretations. At the same time, it's important to remember that our scientific understanding is not static, but rather it evolves over time. What may seem inexplicable today, what may seem beyond our grasp, could well be explained tomorrow as our knowledge and technological prowess advance. And so, while the star-child phenomenon may challenge our current understanding, it also pushes the boundaries of what we think we know. It encourages us to not settle, but to continue to explore the mysteries of our universe, to continue to seek answers and to continue learning. It reminds us that the boundaries of knowledge are not finite, but ever-expanding. Whether science can confirm the existence of star-children or debunk it as a myth remains a contentious issue. We've journeyed through myths, mysteries and science to unravel the enigma of star children. We have traversed the vastness of the cosmos, diving into the mysteries of our universe and beyond, marveling at the celestial bodies that fill the night sky, 
and pondering the secrets they hold. We've explored far-off galaxies, witnessed the birth and death of stars, and questioned the very fabric of our reality. In the face of such grandeur and mystery, the concept of star children takes on an even more fascinating allure. We've also turned inwards, delving into the intricate labyrinth of our genetic code. Our genes, repositories of our evolutionary past and architects of our future, may contain secrets that can shed light on the star children. We've explored the human genome, an intricate tapestry woven from billions of strands of DNA. With each new discovery in this field, we gain a deeper understanding of what it means to be human and the prospect of star children becomes even more intriguing. Additionally, we've ventured into the realm of the supernatural, setting foot in a world that exists beyond the realm scientific understanding. We've danced with the spirits, conversed with the unseen, and delved into ancient practices that blur the line between reality and the ethereal. In this dance with the supernatural, many have reported encounters with the star children, adding another layer of mystery to our unfolding narrative. Our voyage began with the star child skull, an artifact that has perplexed scientists and captivated enthusiasts alike. Its peculiar shape, unlike any known human skull, and its composition, unlike anything found on Earth, have led many to speculate about its extraterrestrial origins. A cosmic mystery waiting to be solved, the star child skull raises fascinating questions about our understanding of life in the universe. From there, we ventured into the realm of Native American lore, where tales of star people have been passed down through generations. Rich in symbolism and wisdom, these stories tell of celestial beings visiting Earth, bestowing knowledge upon our ancestors and intermingling with humans. Are these tales just myths? born out of a desire to understand the unknown, or are they echoes of an ancient truth, remnants of a time when humans and star children coexisted? Next, we explored the enigma of children with extraordinary abilities, often likened to the legendary star children. These young prodigies, exhibiting talents such as telepathy that elude conventional understanding, have puzzled scientists and intrigued the public. Could these abilities be a sign of advanced evolution, a genetic anomaly, or could they point to a more mysterious, perhaps extraterrestrial origin? Our journey then took us into the world of science as we probed the mysteries of genetics. Our understanding of the human genome is constantly evolving, with new discoveries challenging our perceptions of human nature and potential. And now, after this extensive odyssey through myths, science, and the supernatural, we find ourselves at the end of this cosmic journey with more questions than answers. But that's the beauty of exploration, isn't it? Every answer leads to a new question, every discovery to a new mystery. The journey is the destination, and the mysteries we uncover along the way enrich our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Are star children real, or are they just figments of our imagination? We leave that for you to decide. Share your thoughts in the comments below.